Hey ladies, um, okay, so I'm going to do a really quick um, one eye 3D mascara tutorial for you um, just so you can get an idea of how to do it. Um, I'm not going to do both eyes because I want you to really see the difference. Um, I will go through it a little bit slower than I normally would just because I want you to make sure that you follow these steps the right way so that you get the very best results. Um, so what I've got is... I've got the two tubes that it comes in, the gel and the fibers. This is the, the goopy gel and the fibers. Okay, I put them in one hand and open both tubes. Um, and you want to work quickly with these first two steps. It's really important. So, okay. Oh, I make sure you got it off the tip. So you're gonna go over your face. And we're just gonna put the goopy gel all over the lashes, uh, just like regular mascara. The directions that come in it do say you can put a coat of regular mascara on first. Um, it's totally up to you if you want to do that. I do not do that. Um, the reason being, I have an allergic reaction to the chemicals in regular mascara. Um, and it makes my eyes itch and water really bad. So, okay, so that's on. We're going to really quick get to the fibers and just go from middle to tip. Okay, you do not want to go all the way to the base of your lashes or you're going to have fibers in your eyes. Okay, and you're trying to extend the lash length, so it doesn't make sense to go all over the whole lash, just the ends. Okay, the fibers are kind of these little fuzzy little things, but they will grow the length of the lash, so you can already see the difference. Okay, so this is really important too. Let it dry. Normally, if I was doing both eyes, I would go ahead and do this first two steps over here on the side while I let this one dry. But right now, we're just going to let it dry. We really want the fibers to adhere to the gel coat. Um, so let that dry. Make sure it's dried. I, I wait 30 to 45 seconds usually, <clears throat> however long it takes me to do the other eye. Then you're going to go back and seal in the fibers with another coat of gel. Now this can be all over the whole lash. Another wonderful thing about these is that the fibers and the gel are black. So unlike some um, mascaras that have um, fibers that are not the 3D. Um, they are not natural fibers for one, but they are also not um, black. Most of them are white, and so you're trying to cover it up and spend most of your time doing that. Okay, so <clears throat> there's one coat. Really doesn't take long. Oh, and I did curl my lashes before I started. Just so you know, um, you don't have to do that. <clears throat> and I've done it both ways. I just prefer to curl my lashes first. You can also, after this step, when it dries, you can go in and curl your lashes, but you are, you're gonna need, for sure need a comb or a, a lash separator because it might, you know, make them stick. Just like if you were curling your lashes after wearing any mascara. Um, this is, oh, sorry, there's little fibers in there. Um, this is Unique's um, lash comb and brow brush. It is metal down here. Um, and it is amazing. It works so much better than the plastic ones. Um, <clears throat> at this stage, you can go in if you want and comb it out. You know, if you really want that really natural look. Um, it really gets in there well and pulls out 
um, any extra clumps or fibers. Um, but you can build on this mascara too. This is another thing that is amazing. So you want a little bit more drama? Okay, let's go for a second coat. Again, gel all over the lashes, nice and thick. Um, you, know, you can go like that and really get it on there. Oh yeah, and no making fun of me either because I have no other makeup on. Okay, fibers really fast after that gel. Middle to tip, middle to tip, not all over the whole lashes. I know I keep saying that, it's really important. If you want the best results, just the tips. And again, you can sweep from the back too. You want to get some serious drama going on. I know you guys see that. That's crazy. Amazing crazy, but crazy. Okay, let it dry. I don't even need to get up in the camera like that, but you see that, right? I always thought I had really long lashes until I had this stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, okay, so we're going to go back in and seal those puppies in. I knew I loved this stuff when I put it on the first time, but the really amazing part was I walked out and I showed my husband and my husband was like oh my god your eyes are amazing and for a man to notice something like that especially my husband like hunting, fishing, man's man So, granted, that took a little bit longer than it would normally take. It only takes me a couple minutes, if that, to do a couple of coats of this stuff. But, it's pretty amazing, right? I don't know what more proof anybody needs. I think every single woman that has any slight interest in mascara and makeup would want this stuff. I also love it because you can get, I mean, put a couple more coats of this and you've got like big dramatic lashes for, you know, Halloween or date night or something like that. <clears throat> and you don't have to put on fake lashes. I don't know about you, but when I put on fake lashes, this is how I look because they're so heavy. Um, you know, extensions. A lot of times they damage the lashes and they don't grow back right. Um, you know, there's some people that can get away with it. I'm not one of them. Um, anyway, uh, so that's two coats. You can really do as much as you want. You know, use that um, lash comb, brow brush. Brow brush is cool too. I've got crazy wild Welsh eyebrows. They've been... I finally got them threaded, but <laughs> anyway, um, that's the stuff, girls. Um, if you have any questions, uh, if you want me to do a tutorial video on how quick I can put it on both eyes, I'll totally do it for you. Um, it's awesome, and there's many days where I just do mascara and lip gloss, and that's it, and it's a total look. So, anyway, um... Ask questions if you have them, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.